Welcome to Her Remarkable History. Remember, to support our channel, please subscribe. The Oubliette, history's horrific torture and execution method. One part of a castle which can normally be found inside of a fortification is a dungeon. These were primarily used as places where high-value targets and prisoners could be held, and then after their incarceration, they could be turned over. Prisoners were usually tortured inside of the dungeons too. For example, in the Tower of London, in the basement of the White Tower, torture was administered on people such as Guy Fawkes. Also, in different towers, prisoners would be chained up inside of dungeons. But there was one dungeon known as an oubliette, which can be considered one of the most brutal and horrific torture and execution methods. This was a dungeon that once you were thrown into it, there was no way you were getting out. The word dungeon comes from the French don job, meaning to keep, but oubliette comes from the French word to forget. The point of this dungeon was for someone to be thrown inside it and never emerge from it, being left to die, being forgotten by society and everyone. The oubliette was a very feared part of a castle and one of the cells inside of Warwick Castle in England was so feared that during the 100 Years' War, French soldiers heard about the tiny cell. Many oubliettes were created in a bottle shape, which meant that it was impossible for someone to climb out and escape, and there was normally no intention to get a prisoner out of the oubliette. They were incredibly claustrophobic, and in some of these, prisoners would not have enough room to move or stand up. A prisoner would be thrown into it through a small hatch in the roof or a floor and often they would fall a significant distance and would break bones on their landing. The claustrophobia meant they were forced into the same position for 24 hours, 7 days a week which would make a prisoner go mad with the psychological torture. They were usually horizontal, long and narrow and could have jagged stones and spikes on the floor which meant that a person would be stuck in immense pain because of the conditions. Prisoners would lose their sanity in the claustrophobic conditions and things would get worse. Often the guards of a castle would throw all manner of things down the oubliette, such as dead animals or human excrement and waste. They did this to make sure that a prisoner would succumb to their death a lot sooner, hopefully contracting an infection or disease from the disgusting things thrown down the oubliette. Sometimes, also sewers and toilets would be linked to the dungeon, meaning the prisoner had to contend with a constant supply of human waste filling up their cell. Rats would be found inside there too, and there were accounts of vermin such as rats feasting on the dead bodies of the prisoners once they had died inside the cell. Often people would be thrown down with the decomposing remains of a former prisoner to contend with too, with skeletons found inside of other cells in history. The prisoner would not be given any food either, and would be starved, being given no water too, meaning they would simply succumb to starvation. It was a very slow and agonising death, being left to succumb to your fate and impending demise. One can also be found in Lepp Castle in Ireland, and when the castle was built it was the scene of many different attacks between different Irish feeding clans. Often captured members of the rival clan would be thrown into the oubliette in the medieval times, and at the bottom of this oubliette were a number of wooden spikes which pierced up from the floor eight feet below the trap door, which would cause a prisoner to be impaled on a spike. The number of skeletons were found inside of the oubliette here in the 1920s, and there were so many remains that it took three carts to transport them out of the castle for reburial. The oubliette was a sinister method of torture devised to slowly kill a prisoner. Imagine being thrown into a room in complete darkness with no way out at all, the only way out being death itself. All the horrors that were found inside of the oubliette would be enough for someone to want to choose the easy way out, but they also had to wrestle with their own mind knowing that they would never get out. The psychological and physical torture of the oubliette made it one of the worst torture and execution methods in history. Thank you for watching, and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.